refreshing kind of kind of refreshing week so you might have studied that in stats one but anyway we are giving you again to just uh, there will be some 20 25 days gap in between right so in order to refresh it quick we just gave week 0 but i think the main take away from week 0 is the common distributions you should know at least uh, what is geometric distribution what is poisson distribution what are binomial distributions what are bernoulli distributions that is what you have to take uh, main take away from week 0 some common okay. distributions okay ஒர்க்ஸ் those are must and must uh, you 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 must watch those lectures so those contents which we kept in additional content so it's like it's of your own interest you may or may not go through those contents uh, it doesn't matter we are not going to ask any questions so it will not affect you on basis of marks and also uh, it will not affect you in the courses upcoming courses so you may not be using that additional content in anywhere so are you are you referring to the additional content which is a part of the week 0 yeah even in week 0 after that also you will see uh, in week 4 in week uh, 7 8 we have kept few things uh, in additional content okay okay so each and every week can have an additional content if you have time and if you wanted to watch those lectures improve your knowledge in stats too you can go watch depending upon your time but if you don't have time at least cover the main lectures okay okay so that is the intention that is what our intention of keeping few contents in additional so even we felt that the con- contents are very vast and very long so we have identified few contents which you may not be using in future as well as it is an isolated type of contents so there will not be any prerequisite or post requisites of that particular topics no, yeah, i hope you understood yes no doubt yes. no, no, thank you okay. Yeah. okay so in this particular session uh, i have prepared a pdf i hope this will be very useful for you i will upload this pdf after the session so this will definitely help you to prepare week 1 and 2 contents so what we are going to today what we are going to do today is also the same thing so we will start with joint pmf mark um, excuse me sir yeah where will you upload the pdf uh, in supplementary contents i will i will oh, okay. uh, we will send you an announcement also regarding this it okay. was uploaded kind of revision okay. pdf got uploaded okay okay thank and you. there it is uploaded yeah, also we'll upload good evening sir okay, yes, sir good evening thank you for accepting our uh, request sir, for this revision yes, session thank you so much sir okay okay uh, anyway stats one are also doing revision session itself so i thought why not we also do the revision session and as you guys also requested uh, the same yes sir, it will be so, very useful to us. Yeah. after your uh, class only we are able to do that graded sir yes sir really okay. yes. okay within uh, one, with, almost within one hour we have completed uh, all the questions sir Yes, sir. Thank you for it. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Okay. Thank you. Good. Good. Then this session might also helpful for you. That is what I hope. Let's see after two hours. Uh, yes, after sir. After two hours, what is going to happen? Okay. And thank one you, small sir. request is uh, when I am dealing some contents, I request everyone please be on mute. When the examples or the questions I ask, then please unmute yourselves and we can have a discussion on that particular time. Sure, sir. In this way, we we can save our time and we can discuss a lot of concepts. Okay, this is a small request. Okay, okay from sir. all of you. Okay, uh, yeah, these are the important topics in weeks one and two, which you definitely have to focus on. So we should we will start with joint PMF, marginal PMF, and conditional PMF. I had a I have a very good example on joint marginal and conditional, which we are going to solve it today. and after that we will see independence of random variables and then independent 
identically distributed random variables iid so this iid this particular iid you are going to see till week 12 so we will simply say x1 to xn or iid some distribution so you should understand what is this iid mean okay so and this, this, this every everything which we we are going to use till week 12 so these all are very important and then memoryless property we will more of deal with only geometric distribution so what is this memoryless property we will look for some 5 to 10 minutes then the main and confusing part is uh, if there are two random variables functions of two random variables like x plus y or max of x x comma y min of x comma y is it five times x it's a function of a random variables so we will see that and finally we will end our session with a cumulative distribution function which is cdf so this particular cdf also we are going to focus on till week five five six so week six so the cdf comes cdf pdf everything even in continuous also we will see this cdf okay so these are the main topics which we are going to see today we will start by dealing one by one concept so let us start with join pmf of two random variables so let us suppose say we have few random variables x1 to xn which are discrete so we are only dealing with discrete in week one and two so forget about continuous random variables just beyond discrete so x1 to xn are n discrete random variables when they are discrete random variables each of the random variable will have a range and those ranges are uh, denoted to be like tx1 tx2 to txn okay now if i wanted to see the joint pmf of two only, only two random variables not the n random variables i just wanted to look at i have two random variables x1 x2 and i wanted to see how these x1 and x2 are jointly distributed so x1 separately i know the distribution x2 separately i know the distribution if i combine these two how will the joint distribution look like so what is how how we can define this joint probability mass function so the distribution or the probability mass function both are same so the joint pmf of two random variables is a function basically it's a probability mass this f denotes function so if it is a function there will be a domain and there will be a range and recall from max1 or max2 we used to define functions as f semicolon some domain set to rain set so here also our function is f x1 x2 so which is the joint pmf function and this function is defined from two dimensional vector space uh, okay i don't know <laughs> i'm going more of mathematical side so this is like two elements i'm going to consider two elements one element coming from tx1 and another element coming from tx2 when i say tx1 cross tx2 it's like a vector coming from a two dimensional vector we are referring to a two dimensional vector that means there will be two inputs for this function so two variable function it's like a two variable function one variable comes from this range and another variable comes from this range and this particular input if it goes into this function joint function the output will be a real number which will be in between 0 to 1 why because this is a probability mass function so the output will be a probability value and the problem we know that probability value will not go below 0 and will not exceed 1 so that's why whatever the input i take into this function my output will be in between 0 to 1 so that is a function and it is defined like this so fx1 x2 t1 comma t2 so t1 and t2 are the inputs to this function and this function is defined as it will be equal to probability of x1 is equal to t1 and x2 is equal to t2 so that means the probability of x1 taking value t1 and at the same time x2 taking value t2 okay and it is defined for all t1 belongs to this range tx1 and all t2 belongs to this range tx2 okay so it will work for all t1 t2s any doubt here no 
So I am starting no, from very basic. I no, don't sir. Think, uh, no, sir. Uh, uh, you should have. No, sir. Okay. Sorry. No, sir. Sir, this video will be also uploaded over the. It's already being YouTube streamed. Okay. You can okay. watch it in the YouTube. Okay. So this is a joint PMF of two random variables. What if I wanted to look at joint PMF of some n random variables? So if it is two random variables, our input is like uh, two dimensional vector space, two dimensional vector. But if there are n random variables, the function will be like this. So it's an f subscript x1, x2 to xn. And the domain set will be an n dimensional vector space. So n dimensional means there will be n inputs. So tx1 cross tx2 cross txn. And also the output is same. Output is a real value which is in between 0 and 1. And how we can define this is fx1, fx1, x2 to xn of t1, t2 to tn will be equal to probability that x1 being t1 and at the same time x2 being t2 and at the same time x3 being t3 and so on till and xn being tn. So we can actually simplify this and you can actually remove this ends and simply you can write this x1 is equals to t1 x2 is equals to t2 and so on x n is equals to tn for all t1 belongs to tx1 t2 belongs to tx2 t3 belongs to tx3 and so on tn belongs to txn so this is generalizing uh, to n random variables and you guys more focus on two random variables only okay so n random, see even three random variables, joint PMF table, if you wanted to draw the joint PMF table, it will be three dimensional box cube. You have to draw a cube or cuboid, which is uh, not possible on two dimensional paper. So you more focus on what will be the joint PMF of two random variables. But anyway, learn this concept also, the joint PMF of n random variables, how this is defined. Let us do an example, quickly do an example, whatever we learned till now. So let us suppose say there are two random variables x and y with ranges being range of x being 1, 2, 3, range of y being 0, 1, 2. So this is the joint uh, PMF table. We call this as the joint PMF table where you see whatever inside this table, whatever the values are there inside this table, they represent the probabilities of respective event. So this particular 1 by 12 represents probability that x is being 1 at the same time y is being 0. So which you can write it like this fxy of 1 comma 0. So this value denotes this. Similarly you can check for uh, you can write this one also. This 1 by 12 is basically fxy of 3 comma 1 where x is taking value 3 at the same time y takes value 1 the probability that happening this event is actually equals to 1 by 2 this is what the joint pmf table is now tell me what will be simple question what will be 3 2 1 by 4 1 by 4 1 by 4 correct so x is being 3 and at the same time y is being 2 it will be 1 this is what it is so this is uh, by looking at the joint PMF table, we can actually find the joint probabilities, joint probability mass function. So while filling this table, quick question: uh, hmm. If we do it by say fx of three into fy of two, hmm, that means you are bringing this independence concept. Okay, in we, only if it is independence, the then only, then only you can are independent it. fx into fy will come into play. Else, yeah. Okay. Uh, else it will not and Thank you me. can observe there will be few observations by looking at this joint pmf table they are the first one is so few observations i will write it down here so observations so these are also very easy observations only first thing is if you add all the entries all the entries in the PMF joint PMF table table uh, we will get one. 
so you can check that you, is true you, for every pmf function every joint pmf table must satisfy this so here there are nine entries so if you add all the nine entries you are you will be sir is it recorded session uh, yeah it is recorded is session hello this is recorded session okay so this is one observation and can you spot another observation each entry is each entry is zero and one so whatever the entry you see that will be each entry should be between 0 to 1 0 and 1 so it can be 0 if it is 1 then the other entry should be all be 0 Because the sum should be zero. So Sorry, sum should be one. Is that true for every probability mass function? Every, ah, uh, every mass. probability mass function. So the joint PMF table will always satisfies these two conditions. So if at least one of these conditions are uh, violated, then that will not be a joint PMF table. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, <clears throat> so we can say that uh, P of one. Is uh, P of uh, one and zero? One and zero is uh, less than P of one and P of zero. That can also be observation. P of P of one X and P of zero. Zero. Ah, uh, is less than P of one and P of zero, or P of zero. Oh, that is marginal. It is less than what is called the marginal of. That's equal to one. It is less than p of one and is also less than p of zero. Ah, uh, maybe you can say less than or equal to. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Yes. Ah, uh, less than or equal to p of x is equal to one, or uh, you can say the same thing. Pro less than or equal to y. Less than or equal to because you see sometimes uh, you will have zeros here. Yes, sir. Okay. If the other two entries are zero, then it will be equal. In that condition, it will be equal. Okay. Sir. Okay. Okay. So the less than. Okay. You are correct. This is this is also can be an observation. Okay. Yeah. So let's move to marginal then. So that is what about uh, joint PMF between. So more focus will be on between two random variables only. But anyway, learn about uh, how will be like n random variables case also. Okay, let so, us come uh, to the, uh, whatever uh, the third point. It is it is less than uh, marginal, is it? Less than or equal to? Ah, uh, less than equal to marginal. Marginal, yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. So it is simply like this entry will always be less than or equal to if you sum of uh, sum over these entries or if you sum over these entries. This will always be less than or equal to e equal to that value. Okay. Okay. so let us move to marginal pmfs so marginal pmfs are uh, basically individual pmfs of x1 and x2 so the name itself is different but if you know the individual pmfs that will be the marginal pmf of x1 and if you know the individual individual pmf of x2 that will be the marginal pmf of x2 but uh, the thing is if the joint table is given to us how will we find the marginals So suppose x1 and x2 are jointly distributed discrete random variables. So discrete random variables with joint PMF, we know that uh, we know this joint PMF function. Okay, probability mass function of jointly distribution we know. From this, how can I compute uh, the marginal PMF? So for computing the marginal PMF of x1, so this is marginal PMF of x1, marginal of x1. so it is represented as f x1 of t even the denotation you see you see this is the pmf of x1 so from there it is actually the individual pmf of x1 so f x1 of t you can compute which is actually the probability that x1 taking value t particular value t that will be equal to what you have to do is in your joint pmf which all entries you have to add is you keep the t as constant the blue blue t so this particular blue is constant now what you have to vary is 
the T2, the green one. The green variable you have to vary by keeping T as constant and you have to sum over all the entries, all those entries um, like this. So it will be like, suppose uh, Tx2 is something like 0, 1, 2 and so on. Now this will be equals to f x1 x2 of t comma 0 plus f x1 x2 t comma 1. So this t is fixed. The variable is t2. So it will take all the values that are coming from the range of tx2. So it will start from 0, 1 and so on. Maybe in between something like x1 x2 tn and so on. So like this, you have to add all these entries or if it is still as we, see, we are in finite discrete random variables, we treat as finite. So it will be going to till n, then the sum will be all this n plus 1 entries. You have to add all these n plus 1 entries. That will be your marginal PMF of x1. What you have to do, you have to, if you want x1, you keep x1. What we don't want is x2. You add x2 values throughout the possible cases. Okay. Whatever you don't want, you add it to add all those things. So similarly for x2 also the same thing. This is called this is marginal of x2, which is probability that x2 is equal to 3. But here now the thing is keep t2 fixed. So that means this right side fixed. Now where is the T1? So the same thing goes. Even if I say Tx1 range is from 0, 1, 2 and so on n. So this will also be equal to Fx1 x2 0 comma t plus Fx1 x2 1 comma t and so on Fx1 x2 n comma t. So you have to add all these n plus 1 entries in the joint MFT. Okay. And yeah, quick uh, one good note is this. So marginal is not a new thing. These marginal PMFs are nothing but the individual PMFs of X1 and X2 respectively. That's it. That is what you are going to compute from the joint Sir, PMF. Yeah. In stat one, like we used to call PMF of a random variable. Uh, and here we are the same thing we are calling marginal PMF. Correct, correct. So that is what this individual PMF is nothing but the PMF of X1. Then why are we adding this, changing the name of it? No, no. See, in this particular context, this will be marginal. So, the joint, so this is of uh, jointly distributed discrete random variables, right? Yeah. So, from two random variables, combinedly two random variables, if I wanted to see only one particular random variable PMF, then marginally I am looking at the PMF. Okay. So, can we say that uh, for each... Uh, uh, element of say t1 t2 t3 mm. uh, the probabilities are different and summing over all those then it is equal to one only so so for x say x1 is equal to t1 some uh, probability is there x2 mm. is equal to t2 some probability is there and for overall uh, it is one so marginal we can say uh, in this context marginal of t1 marginal of t2 marginal of t3 and Summing what equal to one? Why T three? Yeah, yeah. I will take an example. I have an example. So everything. Yes, yes. So I here supersede with examples. Okay. Yes. So what I was saying, sir, x one x one for we are getting one by twelve, one by twenty four, and one by eight. Hmm. Sum of all these. Yes. For x2, it is sum of second column. So for oh, x2, okay. wait, 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 wait. Correct, correct. So whatever you are saying is correct. But I just wanted to give this as an example. So try it out. I will give you some two, three minutes. Just try it out. How we can compute. Use the above formula. Or if you know the formula, just apply it. And I want the marginal PMS. So which is basically fx of x and fy of y. So those who are in the session, please try this out. So there are two random variables given to us with ranges. 
so before example only what i want here is the marginals please explain the third condition in the con uh, joint pmf third condition in the joint Achha. pmf okay, okay that okay. less than equal to the marginal ones okay so it is simply saying that this particular value which is 1 by x, f x y of 0 comma 1 will be less than or equals to so it will be 1 comma 0 oh sorry 1 comma 0 correct and the same will be less than uh, of f y 0 correct. okay okay separately they will be less than or equal to equal to sometimes it may be equal equal in the case of zero uh, so you see here what we are saying the statement is basically this particular value will be less than or equals to some of these three values is it trivially true or not yes so this f, f x of one is nothing but f x y of 1 comma 0 plus f x y of 1 comma 1 plus f x y of 1 comma 2 so these three values f x of 1 is nothing but these three values sum over all the y's so you keep one constant you sum it over the range of y so 0 1 2 sir can so you see can you use a bigger uh, pointer sir pointer is not so visible are a colored uh, pointer sir this is okay is this okay yes sir yes yes sir. okay so here what i am saying is this fx1 is nothing but the sum of these three entries correct so that is what marginal you get marginal of fx of 1 and this fxy of 1 comma 0 is nothing but one of it entry out of three entries one entry so what we are saying is one entry will always be less than or equal to some of those three entries is it true or false will it be true or false? Yeah, it is true, the one by two, two, sir, ah, true. so that is true, that is uh, the other thing is something like this particular entry will be less than or equal to now it is of row inside row so these three entries sum is f y of 0 only this entry is f x y of 1 comma 0 even this entry will be less than or equals to some of these three entries so that is what the third property which was given by your name who said this nagasai hmm? nagasai sir nagasai yeah so he has given this one more observation so here to find fx of x we need to find fx of 1 plus fx of 2 plus fx of 3 no no it's not plus you have to give it separately you have to give me the pmf oh, or the distribution like of one, fx of two, fx ah, of simply fx of, fx of 1 and fx of 2 and fx of 3 if you add all those three what are you going to get one. you will get one one yeah so let us see let us see the how how we can compute those who have computed it's okay those who haven't computed observe this thing so we want marginals now so what you have to do is so if i wanted to compute the marginal of x first so x i wanted to compute marginal of x so this particular marginal of fx of 1 if i wanted to compute this is nothing but probability that x is equal to 1 which is i have to sum over all t2s which are belonging to my range range of y and fx y of 1 comma t2 so the range of y is 0 1 2 so that means i have to add fx y of 1 comma 0 plus fx y of 1 comma 1 plus fx y of 1 comma 2 1 comma 2 so those entries are this fx y of 1 comma 0 is this entry this is this entry and this is this entry so that means if the joint pmf table is given to you if i wanted to compute the marginal of x is equal to 1 probability that x is equal to 1 
you go to the one column and you add all the entries in that column so what will we get 1 by 12 plus 1 by 24 plus 1 by 8 we will get 1 by 4 by 24 which is 1 by 4 so this is fx of 1 similarly if you wanted to find fx of 2 so you go to the column 2 And you add all the entries of that column. So what you have to do? One by two one, plus one by two plus one by eight. One by four. Again, it is one by four. And you go f x of three is you go to the column three. You add all one by six, one by two, one, one by four. One by, one by two. two. You are going to get one by two. So this is the marginal P M F or the distribution of x. So how is the distribution of x? This is how it is. So this is x. This is f x of x. One, two, three. X taking value one, the probability will be one by four, one by four, one by four. This is the P M F table of x. Okay. Third is one by two. The one by two third is. Oh, yeah, yeah, correct. One by two. Similarly, now you see when we when I wanted to find the marginal of y. So I fix y equals to zero. Once you fix y equals to zero, go to the zero at row and add all the entries of that particular row. So one by twelve plus one by twelve plus one by six. One by three. One three. by three. One by three. So this is one by three. Similarly, probability that six. y is equals to one. One by six. If you add all these three, you will get one by six. And the last one, one will get one by two. two. One by two. Yeah. So one by two. So this is now. If I wanted to write the distribution or the PMF of y, this is all. So y, f y of y, zero, one, two, one by three, one by six, one, one by two. two. So this is the PMF, marginal PMF of x and y. If so you is the same table similar to what we learned in stats one for relative uh, frequency table. Frequency table is somewhat different, right? Okay. It yeah, has this we, column. But we learned this also actually. In, uh, ah. Uh, uh, so you are only referring to adding, adding this guess. also. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So okay. please continue. Okay. So now you see if you add these three blue numbers. One. You will get one. So if you add these three blue numbers, you will get one. If you add these three red numbers also, you should get one. You will get one. So then only your marginals are correct. So whatever you computed, if you wanted to cross check it, so you add all these three values, you should get one. You add all these three values, you should get one. Okay. So this is how you can compute the marginal PMFs. Fine. Yes. Got it, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Let us see conditional PMF now. So the conditional PMF or the condition. So now we are going to impose a condition. So the conditional distribution of x two. So this is what is the condition? Condition is we have given some condition that x one is taking value t. So we know that what x one is taking. So depending upon that condition, how will the distribution of x two looks like? So that is what we want. So how we define is basically there is, uh, in lecture I guess uh, Sarah has defined something like Q of t to something, but more or less if you don't don't want to do this also don't want to remember this also it's fine. So the main thing is you have to understand this. So this particular f x two given x one is equals to t. So this is also a random variable. So this x two given x one is equal to t is also a random variable and it also has a distribution. What distribution will it have? It will have a conditional distribution on x two. So the condition is x one is equal to t. We are imposing a condition x one is equal to t on x two and we are looking at the distribution of x two. That is what it is. So f x two given x one is equal to t of t two will be equal to 
probability of x2 taking t2 given x1 is equal to t so you can correlate this to your uh, yes. base conditional probability in short term conditional yes. probability base base theorem right yeah base theorem yes sir base so you can correlate uh, okay you can correlate uh, this to that but understand it's better i suggest you understand in this terms only because uh, you will be using in future uh, like this only every it is time basically conditional probability only sir that is the exact yeah, definition yeah 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 conditional probability only but you understand in this terms okay x1 x2 okay D don't see it like an event see it like a random variables only so that is what my suggestion is every time correlating is like it will consume time so every time you go back correlate what is asking yeah i like understand it like if x is t x1 is t with hmm. uh, in all that x1 equal to t which condition is x2 to and x1 t so that one condition of all yeah so yeah i i take it in that way i can understand starts in that way okay okay i'm new to it sure sure see see first firstly we have to correlate few things what we have learned and we have to develop and after few days you 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 should be like you no need to correlate again and again actually i actually i just want to state one thing i mean i don't know it can't be helped i know that but i'm like lagging in week two content i'm not started it yet I have to catch up and like i have to even be attending the live sessions i'm like lagging behind in start to know uh, okay okay see you will see first first two three weeks uh, see week three i guess uh, you have three or like, four months. i like i like haven't even submitted the first two graded assignment properly i have not submitted to say yeah. okay maybe maybe think, you try there, to there's no it. issue right sir i just want to ask for surety there's no issue if i do not submit graded assignment i can write the quiz now in like ओकेबिलिटी t2 given x1 is t okay so a condition is imposed on this and we are seeing the distribution of x2 again so what this will be is this is like an event a given event b you can write it as uh, probability that a intersection b divided by probability of b correct from base rule you can write it like this probability of a given b so here they are events it's not it's not base rules sir actually it's the just the definition of conditional probability ah sorry 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 yeah, yeah condition uh, compares to different conditional spaces no? yeah yeah so it's like uh, base rule is something like b given a times yes okay. reverse yeah. probability reverse, reverse. Uh, yeah, yeah. Reverse okay, condition. so this is uh, okay, okay. So a given b, you can write it as probability that a intersection b divided by probability of b. Sir, either denominator is like total probability, right, sir? See this event b. Uh, x one equal to t. Ah, uh, here also the event is x one is equal to t. X one being t. So that probability you have to compute. In our uh, marginal joint words. this particular probability that x1 being t is basically sorry this is marginal of x1 okay so you have what is the conditional conditional is equal to joint by marginal hmm so you can write it as see here event a is basically ha huh. 
Yeah. Yeah, sir. I just want a little bit clarification. So when we slide hmm. x one equal to t, right? Hmm. So random with x one is t value. T. So we'll definitely take those value t when some event occurs. No, sir, from sample, right? We estimate hmm. with event, you know. Your voice is breaking. Right. So oh. we can definitely say x one equal to t. Okay. Your voice is breaking. Your voice is breaking completely. Sir, previously But, when sir previously when we are finding uh, marginals, hmm. so there also we were fixing one element and hmm. computing for uh, rest uh, like that. Hmm. So can we correlate this thing there also? So say sir for yeah, x one. Yeah. Correct, correct. I understood. Yeah. Sir, please here explain a little bit of that also. Okay, here here also we are uh, we are fixing x one is equals to t. Okay. I can uh, uh, I can see that all those. Uh, uh, X and Y are independent variables over there. Where? In previous example, when Arre, I didn't to... bring independence into the concept also, right now. Don't worry about independence as of now. Okay. Okay. But uh, for your answer, that is yes. But that is my later question. Sir. Okay. 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 Am, am I audible And... now, sir? Yeah, you are audible. So I was saying like uh, X one is a random with. Variable and it has taken the value t, hmm. so it implies that some event has occurred. Now a random variable takes a specific value only when specific event occurs. Right? See, yeah, uh, that is what I say. You can correlate, but this event, uh, yeah, that is that is why I strongly don't suggest. Okay, see here events will happen, will occur. If I have given x one, if I said you that. X one has taken value t. Then how will the conditional distribution of X two changes? If I had given this events, there is no concept of events here. Here, because both because they are joint events. Huh? Because both are joint events. 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 so it's a x1 can take any value out of those any values for suppose x1 has taken t that means even for that also it will have some probability so out of those so but many I, possible i understand that sir but i am saying but when you say x1 has taken value t sir uh, a random variable is associated with an experiment only na sir it will take value t only when some specific okay. event okay. occurs okay 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 we can say that na no? Ha ha. So now, what is your point here? I'm just saying, sir, x one equal to t is just like an event occurs, na. So it's just like the same de uh, definition, just putting in random variables. Okay. Okay. I'm. Um, yeah. I can say maybe something there. Hmm. Like I mean, uh, actually here the the condition probability which we got got. If we were taught in the stats one, that is different. Those both are different events, but they are conditional upon. But here it is joint joint event. So like, if x one is that, then uh, what is x two? I mean, like, like they are joint. So like the definitions are slightly different. Ah, That's okay, okay, okay. Ah, uh, so yeah, whatever you are yes, saying sir. is correct. Okay. So, uh, so I think this topic is clear now. Yeah. So can we move? Yeah, yeah. So you can take it as an events. So don't worry. Uh, even I think you can take it as an events. Okay. So, but understand this particular concept. Conditional PMF is more or less can be solved like this, or it is defined like this. So the conditional PMF is joint by marginal. Okay. So the probability yes. of X two is equal to T two and X one is equal to T is nothing but F X one X two T comma T two, which is a joint P P M F joint P M F value divided by F X one of T is the marginal P M F. So the conditional P M F you can write it as joint by marginal. Okay, and you have to compute conditional P M Fs like this by taking the all the possible values divided by probability of X one is equal to T.
now if you do an example uh, i guess we will get a clarity and if the concepts are clear uh, i think we don't need to complicate much on these concepts so basic concepts only we are complicating things okay we will keep as fresh as possible as point so we'll stick to the points okay so graded assignment second solution has not been put in the supplementary content uh i had checked like I it was available the for the week one week one it is available but not for week two is it like that let me check it okay meanwhile just solve this particular problem so there are two random variables the same joint pmf table what i want is the conditional pm the conditional uh, pmf of x given y is equals to 2 of 2 and also i want probability that y is equals to 1 given x is equals to 3 let me check whether the solutions are related uh, hello sir yeah sir i wanted to ask this uh, given tx equal to 1 2 3 and ty equal to 0 1 2 hmm. and this is domain or range these are ranges right so, range is uh, 0 to 1 no See, this tx and ty are ranges of x and y but for the function it will be domain tx cross ty okay okay a range will be 0, zero to 1 a range will be the 0 to 1 for for which for join pmf okay sir okay okay sir okay so graded assignment solutions of week one is there okay we already intimated in the morning itself i don't know why they didn't upload let me check on this okay, okay. i got this okay. under the supplementary content yeah under the supplementary contents only i am checking yeah Okay, sir, uh, let me check sir, on this. Sir, Even... sir, sir, sir huh. in addition to this, uh, none of the PDFs have been uploaded in supplementary content sir, of the live oh, sessions. Yeah. <laughs> we do not see, sir, uh, like in the previous times, we used to see the PDFs of the live sessions, live session summaries. There the is PDFs no of live session summary. I don't think uh, till now anyone instructor has uploaded pdfs even the last session of my mine also i didn't upload the pdf of what i did but i uploaded yes, the solve with the slides no sir solve with the slides yes sir they are visible but none of the pdfs is visible okay okay sir, i'm done with the answers hmm. okay uh, let me check on this okay i will upload this p this particular pdf don't worry yes sir thank you sir Okay, so how, how will we do this? So 1 by 4 and 1 by 6 is the answer. Okay, so how to do this? So this is basically, you can write it as f x y of 2, 2 comma 2, 2 divided by marginal of y is equal f to y of f y of 2. Correct? 1 by 12. Ah. So you see f x of x y of 2 comma 2 is basically this. So this is 1 by 8. 8 by divided I by i want marginal of 2 so we have computed fy of y above also so this we got it like 1 by 3 1 by 6 1 by 2 correct so fy of 2 will also be 1 by 2 you just compute fy of 2 if you know just know we have computed also so this will be 1 by 8 by 1 by 2 which will be 1 by 4 1 by 2 so now you see the difference fx of 2 if I simply look at fx of 2, sorry, fxy of 2 comma 2, that is 1 by 8. So it is 1 by 8. So jointly when x is 2 and at the same time y being 2 is 1 by 8. But if I condition that y is 2, my probability of x being 2 has increased. So there is a, so from 1 by 8 to it got to 1 by 4 observe this difference so this is what you have to observe so basically the uh, the probability of x being 2 as well as y being 2 is 1 by 8 
but once if i said y is taking value 2 then x taking value 2 is 1 by 4 so from this you can simply see this is very much different from this okay the joint pmf is different and the conditional pmf is also different pmf values okay so this th these things you have to keep in mind so how what is this probability of y is equals to 1 given f uh, x is equals to 3 this is x y given x is equals to 3 of 1 okay. which is f x y of 3 comma 1 divided by f x of 3 So f x of x y of three comma one is one by twelve. This one by twelve divided by f x of three. One so this two. is f x of uh, x. So this is one by two. We got one by four and one by four. But we need only one by two. This particular one by, one by two. So if I substitute that, we are going to get one by two. One by six. Okay. So this is how we can compute the conditional probabilities. Conditional problem. So both are same. So Sorry, sometimes uh, we can give like this. Sometimes we ask, we can ask like this. But uh, both are conditional probabilities. Yeah. Uh, can you repeat this? Uh, y is equal to one given x is equal to three again. Sorry. Y is equal to one. So uh, this. Ah, uh, yeah. Y is also equal to one. Also, you can give... explain how did you got f x f for y and f x for x also. So these things we have dealt just before, right? No, no, here. not the earlier one. Here, here, the second example. Okay, I'm talking about this f x of x and f y of y. Why I quickly wrote these values is just with, uh, before 15 minutes we just computed this. How this marginals can be computed? These are just the marginal probabilities. And this particular thing is basically probability that y is equals to one given x is equals to three. Is basically probability that y is equals to one comma x is equals to three divided by probability that x is equals to three. So from this, this is nothing but f x y of three comma one divided by f x of three. So look at the values. This is one by twelve and one by two. Just substitute the values. We will get one by six. So this one by four and one by six are the answers. Sir, if x and y are independent, then we'll have p y by p x. That's it, no? If x and y are independent, we will see now what is going to happen. Okay. Sir. Can you okay. please show me that screen so I let me take quickly a screenshot? One and which screen? Time. Which screen? Where you computed f x of x and f x of y of y? We will get the PDF, no, sir, after the lecture. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you. Okay. So yeah. please share the link of the PDF here only, so that we can refer to them. Link of the PDF, unless I upload the PDF, how can I share the link? Okay. So once I have written everything, once the annotation completed, I will convert into PDF. Okay. And I will ask Studio Team to upload uh, this on yes. portal. On the course portal, sir, na? No? On the course portal only, it will get uploaded. Okay. Please make it today only. Yeah, yeah. I will. I will send it today only. I don't know. Will they under, be available after eight or such? Under the supplementary content, more more. Ah, uh, under the supplementary content only. Okay, one pre- important. Okay. Okay, one important result is this. So this particular result is very very important, which is joint PMF. You can actually compute if you know conditional and marginal. You can compute joint. If you know joint. then you can compute everything once you know joint you can compute marginals and once you know joint and marginals you can compute conditional pmf even though if you don't know joint if you know the conditional pmf and marginal pmfs then producting those two you will get joint pmf okay so this is a strong result you should you should be using in your examples also So that is what what we are saying is basically f x one x two of t one comma t two, so the joint PMF will be equal to f x two given x one is equal to t one of t two times the marginal of x one if it is for x one 
marginal PMF of X1. If I know the marginal of X2, it will be like Fx1, X2 can be written, uh, T1 of T, T1 comma T2 can be written as Fx1 given X2 is equals to T2 of T1 times Fx2 of T2. So these two are equal. So you can condition on X1 or you can condition on X2. So however I do, if I product the conditional times marginal, I will get joint. Okay, this is one important result. And after that, let us see independent independence condition also. Then we will solve a good example uh, I have. So we can solve that example also. So just now we have seen joint, conditional and marginal. So the conditions also we know. So what condition, if, if it satisfies that condition, it is. Okay. So, yeah. so can I like ask, the uh, Q doubts are having week one. Week one. Yeah, you just completed it right now. Right? Okay, just uh, will you give me? Sir, uh, let us first complete the revisions first. Uh, sir, then some more fifteen minutes. I uh, after the example of week one example only. I have week one and independent combined example. Okay. After solving it, I will take it. Okay. Yeah, I just have three questions. Okay. Okay. See this independent. Uh, Random variables means if I have two random variables x and y, sir, with ranges, yeah, sir. So till now, it was not independent. Till now, it uh, was not independent. We didn't discuss about independence at all. Okay, so all the properties which we discussed above works for even for non independent cases, also not independent cases, also. Okay, see, these all okay. works for not independent cases, also, but. For in order to be independent, it should satisfy one more condition. What is that condition is X and Y are independent if and only if my joint, so this is joint, right? Fxy of x comma y yes. should be equal to product of marginals, Fx of x times Fy of y. And the condition is on for, for all. So it should satisfy for all x belongs to x and y belongs to y. So even it fails for one case, it will not be independent. So in order okay. to be independent, each and every case we have to check. So I have to check every element I have to take. So whatever the element is in the range, sorry, this is Tx and Ty. So whatever the elements are there in the range of Tx, I have to take all those along with whatever the elements are there in Y, I have to take all those. I have to check each and every case of for this condition whether the joint is equal to product of marginal or not. So if it satisfies for all, then only I will say x and y are independent. Even if it fails for one case also, we say they are not independent. Okay. So the results are basically just now we have discussed one result. So if x and y are independent, then the joint PMF will be the product of marginal PMFs. Similarly, there, uh, there is one more result also. The conditional PMF will be equal to the marginal PMFs. So that means if they are independent, even though you impose condition on one random variable, that will not be dependent. So the probabilities will not change on that condition. So whatever the initial PMF I have for uh, one random variable, or the individual PMF I have for the random variable or the marginal PMF I have, even if I condition something, so taking the other random variable, even if I condition on it, it will not change. The conditional PMF will be equal to the marginal PMF. So the proof is very simple for this. So if I conditioning like this, y is equal to y of x. So this is basically fxy of xy divided by fy of y. So as we said, x and y are independent. This fxy of x comma y, I can write it as fxy yeah, FX of, FY of y divided by fy of y. So this yes. is yeah. cut. And you will be remind with the marginal PMF of x. So this is conditional. Okay. Yes, I've got it. Of x and this is the marginal PMF of x. Okay. 
okay so the conditional will be same as marginal okay okay these are the two results and yeah the same example i have so quickly tell me are this two random variables x and y are independent or not so there are nine cases here so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so you have to check for all the nine cases so which condition you have to check this condition you have to check okay tell me whether x and y are independent or not They are independent, sir. Independent. It is the same example previous. Yeah, it is the same example previous example. Yeah, okay. all are independent. 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 Yes, sir. So how to compute is first compute the marginals. Sorry, f y of y. So compute the marginals first. So the marginals will be one by four, one by four, one by two, one by three, one by six, one by two. Now what I have to check? I have to check for each and every case. So f x y of one comma zero should be equal to f x of one times f x of zero. So that means this and this product of these two should be one by twelve. So is it correct? Should yes. Should that be f y of zero, sir? Okay. So one by twelve. So one by twelve will be equal to one by four times one by three. So this is one case. So this case we have checked. Yes, for this case, it is satisfied. Similarly, you have to check for this case. So even this case also, one by four times one by three will be one by twelve. And also this case, one by two times one by three, one by six. Similarly, all the cases, all the nine cases, you have to check. So you can check here one by four times one by two is one by eight. One by four times one by two is one by eight. One by two times one by two is one by four. Like this, all the nine cases, this condition will be satisfied. So if all all the cases are satisfied, then I will say yes, they are independent. Even if one case, let's suppose say even if this case for one case, it is not being equal. So the product is not being equal to the joint. Then we say it is no. For example, if I want to take an example, simple example. Ah, uh, anyone please be on mute. I am getting an. Sir, can you please tell me? Yeah. Mr. Allah, kya do? Mute yourself. So yeah, yeah. Sound coming. So some noise. Okay. So if it is like this. And the joint PMF I have given something like one by four zero and half one by four. If there is zero, it is not independent. Yeah, correct. So I was about to tell that uh, hint of hint kind of thing. So now, if you compute the marginals, you see this is one by four. This will be three by four. This will be three by four. This will be one by four. Now you see, one by four times three by four will not be equal to one by four. Okay, so this product of these two will not be equal to one by four. Similarly, product of these two, three by four times one by four will not be equal to one by four. Like, this. and also if you see this zero in your entries, at least one zero in your entries. How how big maybe the table is? If you have seen zero in your table, then You straight away close your eyes and click on X and Y are in not uh, not independent. So you can directly click on no. If the question is are X and Y are independent, if you have seen zero in your joint PMF table, at least one zero one entry is zero. You can directly click that X and Y are not independent because if I see the product of two things. product of two things getting zero at least one of them should be zero if at least one being zero means if this marginal being zero then this will not be in the range at all so if i say fx of 2 is zero so this particular column is zero that means x cannot take value 2 so 2 will be removed from the range and from this table also there will not be any 2 in this table So if there is two in this table, then definitely there will be 
some non zero entry if there is anything non zero entry this will be non zero similarly the other part is also non zero the product of two non zero elements will not be zero so the condition of independence will be failed there okay so this is this you can remember it as yes nagasai sir you know? that means uh, sir the random variable 1 and 0 are mutually exclusive sir order okay see mutual uh, occurrence of one doesn't doesn't allow occurrence of other no sir occurring both occurring uh, uh, simultaneously the probability will be zero no sir uh, not every time right so mutually exclusive means one happens then other does not happen mutually exclusive is very different than uh, Joint distribution will be zero for every value. There will be no joint right. distribution because they are mutually exclusive. No? If two random variables are mutually exclusive, there will be no joint distribution. It will be zero for every value. Yeah. We are talking about two variables whether they are dependent or independent. I think your voice is all not clear. All are mutually All of here are mutually inclusive. We are only talking whether one variable is dependent on the other variable. Am I right, sir? Hello. Hello. Your voice is coming very low. Yeah, I'm saying here we are looking at. No, no, you, you, you just please plug in your uh, mic uh, properly. Okay. Is it okay now? Hello. No, 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 no. Hello. Is it okay now? No, no, no. Okay. Very very voice. Hello. Hello. Is it okay now? No. This is echoing very much. Please clear your device. Check your device. Maybe we can move it. Yeah. I think it's clear. Mutually exclusive and independent are different things. If two are mutually exclusive, can we cannot discuss dependency or independence? Right. Mutually exclusive implies joint distribution is zero for everyone. Yeah. Sir is not. Yeah, that is what I am meaning, right? We can that is see what I am saying. Uh, if it is zero, that means. Both the, those are mutually exclusive. Yes, the occurrence of one event is necessarily not occurrence of other event. Yeah, yeah. That means the that is both exclusive. occurring together is zero, right? Yes. Yes. So that 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 cell in that table means the same thing, I guess. If it is disjoint, we cannot make a table. Every entry will be zero, right? Yeah. No, so I am talking. It is a table of two random variables. I am talking exactly of one nine zero, not other other random variables. Other there is uh, other only two, values are two random of. variables here. There are two random variables. They are taking different values. You are putting just yeah, one. Yeah, I am only talking here, about right? the two values. Uh, I think yeah. you can say for yeah. event formed by that random variable are disjoint. Event formed by those. random variable we can plot the same thing in terms of probability space in terms yeah, of venn diagram see, if let's say a joint distribution for x equal to 1 and y equal to 2 is zero so it implies that the event for which x takes the value 1 and y takes the value 2 those events are disjoint it does not yeah, imply yeah same thing i was telling my it does not imply that both the random variables are mutually only if both are yeah. independent so not random variables only the uh events 190 are mutually exclusive right yeah yeah, yeah those yeah. are mutually exclusive yeah, events yes, formed yes. by that random variable okay only that case 0 and 1 are mutually exclusive not other the whole random variable is not yeah. mutually exclusive. yeah yeah right yeah right yeah right yeah right got it got it where is venkatesh sir yeah i am here i am here Hello, can you hear me? No, no. <laughs> Where is the instructor? Hello, hello. Yeah, he is not yet. I am also waiting for him only. I think today's instructor is Sri Kant. Ah, Venkatesh Sri Kant sir is name taking. Full name. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sri Kant sir is not here. He is not on discourse also. I think. I was trying to tag him. I didn't find it.
uh, somebody just spoke about tagging how to tag a course faculty just by writing at the rate in front of the faculty yes yes yeah yes okay it is same like twitter okay okay but i was not able to uh, tag uh, shilkant sir he is not on discourse i think no no he is there uh, actually i tried a long time back but i don't know whether he is live or not i'm not getting the reply to my any of this course uh, post for quite a while now for like 2 3 days on chat two topics has anybody done extractivity 3 i have started but not done i have completed uh, uh okay could you tell me in uh, short how to do it uh, have you taken the python course or not pardon sorry have you taken the python have you completed the python course or not not yet completed i am in week 3 Okay. So there's a function called. Your voice is not coming. And then like what? Right. You were telling about some function. Yeah, I'm saying uh, random library. Have you seen uh, random library? No, random no, 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 not yet. Okay, so you can uh, use, uh, but you have seen in week three, you have seen how to import the library, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So there's a library called Random Library. We use import oh. random. Yeah. Okay. Inside that library, there is a function called randint. R A N D. Mm -hmm. uh, brackets uh, uh, R A N D I N T. Randint, and in the brackets you can put the values one comma six. So it will randomly generate a number between one and six, right? Okay, okay. Uh, so that's the flow of a die. If you use zero comma one, yeah, sir, sir, like yeah, uh, sir has already shown that in one of the lectures. I am aware of it, but I don't know uh, what is this collab and all that. It's just a. Uh, it's just a Google app. Yeah. It's just a different environment to type the code. Like the applet we have, no, it's a different environment. Okay. Uh, where you can type the code, execute the code, and also, like in the sideways, you can write. Like there is a text which you can write, which which will not be executed. Just for understanding purposes. To explain your code, you can write the text. Like we write commands in the now. There is a text you can write. Okay. Okay. Like Drive and uh, Sheets, it's a different type of uh, app, sir. So you just uh, Google that one, you'll find it. In fact, Colab is much better than Replit. Yeah, it's much better than a lot of environment. It offers Jupyter notebooks. They are called, so they are really uh, great. Actually, but, my question uh, is: Do do we have to write the code? That, uh, actually, I was watching that uh, uh, second second lecture of Big Zero. Shall I explain somewhat in that? So. Um, I do not see any that uh, that notebook. What is it? Python notebook or what it was? Oh, in... the, the lecture in the itself, the uh, where the code was written, na? There yeah. was also explanations written if you remember with it in between. Yeah, but like where do I see that the environment notebook. itself is called Google? That environment itself is called Google Collab. Hello. Yeah, Google hello. Google Collab. Hello. But, uh, hello. I can answer yeah. your uh, query. Okay. Can okay. you open uh, extra activity? Yes. Zero. Third one, where it has explained that you have to open the notebook. You are asking that, na? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you there, one uh, notebook where it is written, that is a link. You click that only. 
ओके ओके इन वीक जीरो द थर्ड पार्ट दैट इज व्हाट यू आर सेइंग एक्स्ट्रा एक्टिविटी वीक जीरो इज देयर यस यस यू ओपन दैट यू यू सी वेयर दे हैव एक्सप्लेन व्हाट यू आर सपोज टू डू ओके यू यू मीन दैट देयर दे हैव पोस्टेड अ लिंक एंड आई हैव टू क्लिक ऑन दैट वेयर द नोट बिग बुक itself is written that is a link actually if you put okay. your mouse there you will okay okay you, you will be directed to the notebook to the notebook and there i have to write the code then you can take the note ha huh? but i would uh, i am also little fix can anybody guide from there uh, what i am supposed to do because I'm in the to download that uh, notebook is it in the google uh, okay there like i can guide i have completed it so i can help you guys yeah so me, yeah just yeah. so i'm saying uh, do we need to download that book because it's showing me as dialog here download can you share your screen and explain yeah okay uh, i can maybe just share yeah, that my would be, that would course. be better that would be better yeah, yeah wait a second please share your screen I don't find any link over there. Oh, guys, I think it's being live streamed, so just avoid sharing the screen. No, it is enabled. I suppose uh, near the in the bottom bar uh, of this meeting, uh, just uh, just send it. to the hand. Can you see my screen? Can yeah, yeah, yeah. It's screen? it's opening up. Yeah, so I can go to Google Colab. Mm -hmm. so my id is login uh, if your id is not login it will ask you uh -huh. to like okay 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 uh, but my id is login and then it will show you that uh, okay so wait a second okay wait a second guys i think uh, i have uh, that notebook with other id just wait a second i will show while mr smile is showing his screen back uh, i have a small suggestion and request I believe week two, a uh, week one, uh, extra activity is required. Peers, uh, you know, review and comments, right? And peer means uh, anyone among us. Yeah, am I correct? Yes. Okay. I would like to invite. Uh, this is Manish Singh. If you happen to get some time, please review and because there's one peer review is pending, sir. But yes. nobody can. That base where is crossed. I think they, nobody can review. Due no, the due date is crossed. Due date is crossed. No, only instructors can review. Sorry, come again, sir. Due date is over. Review due date is passed. So only instructors can review now. I think uh, there's, a, there's a message which I happen to see it now, saying that deadline has been extended for peer review. Okay, okay, then. Okay. Which is why I'm requesting uh, all my fellow teachers. One peer review is remaining. Yeah, one in peer review. Life. Yeah, remaining in mind. Yeah. My husband. I have done ten reviews, and I can do max ten reviews. I have done ten ah, for yes, both. Same thing. I, I also did ten reviews. Uh, if somebody who has not done even one or even left with one, please find Manish Singh there and review it. That would be great. I'll be grateful to you. Yes, they are not getting time to review. This is not. What's your name? What's your name? Uh, Manish Singh. Manish M A N I S H S I N G S. Okay, okay, I okay. Yeah, I will try to do it. I have a margin for more reviews. Yeah, if we can do do the needful number. But how do you know who is reviewing whom? I think they do not uh, give us option to choose who we should review. Exactly. Yeah, I, I don't. No, I'm no, not sure. It's totally no. random. They just give some random. random. <laughs> ah, but still, if we if yeah. we all do a ten ten reviews, then definitely. Ah, we can it. do. Yeah, all yeah, yeah, you are right. Sir, that's the point here. So my, uh, I think I've not done even one. So please, if somebody is left with, please uh, let it me. I'll I'll do the needful. And I am. I just checked the, my three reviews has been done. Somebody has given me hundred number. Another has given zero number. How can <laughs> okay, that be okay, possible? Okay, okay. <laughs> Madam, uh, sorry to interrupt. Yeah, in yeah. Um, I happen. I scored fifty-five. Uh, I suppose somebody gave me fifty. So guys, yeah, yeah. Yes, smile. Yeah. So here's yes, the go in, go in. activity I have done. So I have done it for geometric distribution. You can do it for any. I will just give you the basic crux here. So they are like uh, this is Google Notebook, and there are two kinds of uh, things you can do. There are two types of cells. One is called text cell in which you can write, and that will not be executed as code. Like all these I have written. 
which okay, you can this see. is a sort of theory part, right? This is a yeah, sort of theory this part. This is you can type anything and it okay, will okay. not be executed. You have written right. some formulas and all that, right? Yeah, this I is have just explained notebook. the theory. Yeah, I have just explained the theory behind the my code, which will be executed here. This is the part. Okay. okay. Yeah. Now, so how I have I you written the code? Have you completed the Python course? Yeah. No, actually, I am doing it. I just uh, studied the random library extra. Okay. Yeah. Man, so I'm doing man, one thing: course. how to use Markdown? Out? Where did you learn Markdown language? You can just uh, you can just uh, go and. Is it, Markdown. Markdown. Is it mandatory to do this in Python? Okay. Because okay, I just... didn't completed my Python course. Yeah, it's so, actually okay. It so, it's, okay. Hard, but all, it's all not that complex, guys. Course. Okay, all of you can, uh, hard, uh, just can do anything on it. Wait for two minutes. Like, uh, if otherwise, I'll, I'll do. Uh, yes, my one minute, one minute. Just minute. so uh, this expected is. Uh, what is this term, Monte Carlo simulation? What does it mean? It's the okay, size. Actually, from the lecture, it is what I can explain what I have done. I think, sir, what was sir? I think we will discuss this. Actually, okay. If you all of you can stop, then I can speak. So, one thing is maybe we can move on. I think study later. Yeah, so Srikant is already, you know. He, he was taking the session and in between his system got hand so uh, yeah so he'll join in like maybe five ten minutes uh, if not uh, then what we have to do is uh, we have to reschedule this session tomorrow maybe or, uh, or and we can reschedule this uh, uh, you know the mock test also okay so in between i was uploaded uh, on the portal i'm seeing that mock test is uploaded yeah yeah it is there but we can change the timing also for that so uh one more thing i just wanted to know you like, sir, sir, uh, one, because yes, i was doing I this discussion uh regarding this extra activity so somebody was saying like how many reviews and what happened like you didn't get scores or something like that right and smile was presenting that i think that uh, uh week three extra activity so just to clarify the things is uh when you submit the extra activity then you have to do at least three yeah. reviews uh this this reviews are mandatory okay and uh, if you don't submit three peer reviews then you won't get any marks for the extra activity another thing uh, so a lot of people are writing on discourse also and they have the concern that okay what will happen if uh, if one person has given 100 marks in uh, for me and another gave zero marks right or maybe 50 and 100 so if that kind of variation is there in the marks uh, that can be automatically captured uh, by our side, and then we'll check uh, for those extra activities. The third important thing regarding extra activity is if you are not able to get like a third review, or maybe let's say you got only one peer review, or maybe two peer reviews, right? Then no, uh, no need to worry about it. Uh, in that case, also, uh, we'll check the extra activity from our side, and the, uh, the score, the, whichever the score will be there, it will be updated later on. But it won't be shown in on your extra activity. It will be shown on your dashboard. So that process will take some time, and uh, after that, uh, we'll let you know. Like we'll send you out the notification for that, and you can just check on that scores. Okay. So Ariba is there. Uh, you have. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Manish. Actually, I wanted to ask one doubt. That hmm. is there some criteria that the activities which we have completed in that we'll get seventy five percent only, and twenty five percent we'll get from the peer reviews that we have. Uh, no, no, it's not like that. So, seventy-five percent is uh, for uh, your submission and plus your, uh, you know, uh, this thing, uh, uh, peer reviews. If you don't do peer reviews, you won't get that seventy-five percent marks. Okay, twenty-five percent is from the instructor side. That means uh, based on your uh, marks, like there will be like two, three criteria are there, like uh, how much you scored out of that seventy-five. Okay, another thing is uh, maybe uh, if you have done something extra. Like uh, if you have done something good in the extra activity, we will we'll capture that and we'll give you the mark. Uh, apart from that, number of reviews done by a person. So if it is like more than something, uh, th there will be a threshold. Uh, we'll decide that threshold from our side and we'll give that 25 marks. Okay. Uh, the 75 is for submission of the extra activity and for peer reviewing at least three. 
20 no no 25 is from uh, instructor side to instructor side. Side. 75 will accommodate uh, whatever the submission plus the peer reviews and uh, third thing okay sorry i think i just uh, got to know that somebody said that uh, is it needed to do this extractivity three on google collab notebook yes it is needed and you have to define something different event and then based on that you have to uh, write a code so if you are not well versed with the python like then it's fine uh, that is okay so you you can skip this extractivity and you can uh, continue with like fourth and fifth so sir, are, all the extra activities are linked with python sir no 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 so out of six two are linked with python and maybe so you will have you skip seven. Metro, sir. yeah yeah so because we uh, we know that like a uh, lot of people don't understand uh, the python code but okay this python code actually it's not very difficult if you watch the lecture uh, uh, from the andrew sir and if you just tweak that code little bit then it will be fine but let's say you don't understand that also in that case also you can skip this extra activity so out of six you can skip two and we'll take like four uh, base four out of the six extra activities okay so that is there manish was a question sir, sir, yeah. Can I come yeah manish yeah manish yes my as you said that review is pending and mm -hmm. one should need not to worry about it but what yes. i read here yeah. the timeline for the third peer review or the peer review has been extended i don't know for how long but even yeah. now today it is live so if can I request somebody to review mine, or it does it happen arbitrarily, or somebody gets a, a link to review it uh, through your system, not somebody you can invite like that? Sorry, uh, uh, what? Oh, sorry, sorry. Can, can I invite? Sorry, his question is his mine? question is that he uh -huh. wants the wants the third review. Is okay. there any provision that he may ask someone to review? No, no, no. Uh, it's not like that because or the system generates automatically. No, no. It's system generates automatically. Like. It will your uh, site will be uh, gone through like automatically to the uh, people and it's their choice that they can do peer review or not. So uh, if you get only two peer reviews, then you cannot ask anyone to review that and give this course. It's not like that. Okay. So yeah. So it, it's you. okay. It's, it's okay if you get like less peer reviews. Also, it's fine. We'll will uh, accommodate that also. Yes, sir. Thanks, thanks, sir. Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir. Hello, sir. Yes, yes, yes. sir. Um, I I have completed my two as I uh, extra activity, okay. and in two I got hundred hundred, and yeah. in one review I got zero, and another I got twenty five. Mm -hmm. And other uh, th all three I got in uh, two two they have given hundred hundred. So okay. how is disparity? How is it possible? No, that is possible see, because your okay. Google site is uh, it, it went to let's say like four or five random people, right? Yes, sir. And 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 let's say three of them have given you the scores. So mm -hmm. uh, some might like uh, without seeing or if they understand what you have done, they will give their marks. Or mm -hmm. maybe somebody will do mysteriously that uh, okay, random marks uh, somebody has put, right? That that can happen. We cannot control that, right? Yes, sir. For example, my activities give uh, uh, come to you for the uh, checking, and you did not do your part well. And mm. what you do is like randomly you put some marks. Okay, mm. that, that that will happen. So in that case also, we can capture that, and uh, will we will check your extra activity, and based on that we'll uh, change the scores. So you so, can change the score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. That's what I, I was telling someone. Like, okay. Okay, sir. Okay. I, sir, sir, I want to ask one thing. Sir. You, Hello, sir. They are supposed to mandatorily give leave the comment why somebody has deducted or somebody has given hundred percent marks. If we review that, perhaps there's a time for you to correct it. Even if there's one review is pending. Uh, so, so you you actually the see the person who is reviewing uh, he has the uh, or she has that uh, you know she has to do her work. Or he has to do his work that uh, they should do it responsibly. So I think Srikant has joined here, maybe. Yeah, Srikant? Yeah. Thank so, you. So, yeah, yeah. So, uh, uh, Srikant will continue from here, and maybe you wanted to discuss about extracted, we'll discuss later on. Okay. So, I think most of the doubts are clear, right? Uh, are we resuming it tomorrow? If so, then perhaps uh, we have mathematics uh, extra class, I mean, this activity also, same mm -hmm. time. So, we need to keep that in mind, sir. So Shrikan, what uh, what should we do? To, so are you going, uh, would you like to continue or? Acha, so I I will leave it to them. So okay, okay. So you, you can discuss, or, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, I will discuss. So we can discuss. We can discuss, discuss those stuff. people who cannot join will watch the live session on YouTube. Please continue, sir. Yeah. Yes, yeah. sir. I can continue please, but please continue. Uh, I should say one thing here. My system got hanged. 
and yes. whatever the pdf i prepared i it was completely lost oh sir that's a bad news sir the pdf game huh you have to no don't no worries ah. no worries we cloud you cloud you use it in cloud what is cloud you you know store it in cloud or ah, i should yeah. have done that but I am using this. No journal. worries. Still, no. Uh, yeah. We have YouTube recording, and we can get the content. Ah, okay, there. okay, okay. That is one thing. Is, right? Okay. You can you can go through the one of the options so, still stands. So okay, okay. So what I I will do is I will take the screenshots. Maybe I will take the screenshots of the YouTube, and I will just add it to the PDF. And from here. Uh, so we are not having continue. Uh, like uh, tomorrow, mess, uh, na? Ah, uh, tomorrow is the mock. So mock test is uploaded. So on the division board. session will be completed today. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah, just like uh, tomorrow if they have this uh, uh, this session, this mock test, right? So what mm-hmm. what we should do? Like, uh, can we change that tomorrow session to some other day? Uh, can we push to Saturday or uh, someone is requesting in discourse? Maybe we we should open mock for two days, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. that's all. Uh, it would be very convenient, sir. Please. So, so it's maybe we can. What we can do is we can skip hmm. that session tomorrow session and we can continue with the next sessions like like that. We can do. Okay, we'll discuss. We'll discuss later. Okay. So can we shift the? Can we push? Monday, Monday it's too late, man. No, sir. Sunday, Sunday just, or just push it by Maybe, sir, Saturday, sir. sir tomorrow we can complete the revision, and Saturday we can have. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. See, till Saturday. Can, I, I second what Smiley sir has said. Uh, tomorrow we should resume this, and uh, we can push the mark for two days and like after tomorrow. Sir, push it till Saturday. Okay, Mayur, uh, is that possible? Mayur, are you there? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Will that be possible? Like, can we push the deadline to Saturday night? Oh, which one? So oh, yeah, yeah. Mark, mark, mark deadline, yes, sir, right? Yeah, yeah. I will, so Friday I will talk and to, Saturday, I'll, yeah, I will talk to the team and then. Yeah, yeah, we will, we will, we will change it. So what happens is from today night you will get the mock. So the mock will be open for uh, tomorrow, open from tomorrow, as well as Saturday. Hmm. So Saturday night somewhere around eleven fifty nine we will close it as close, Saturday. Yeah. Okay, okay, and that's okay, sir. That, uh, after that also you will you will be able to see the mock. No more questions. Yeah, yeah, you no can problem. see the mock questions, but, but you will not able to submit. Submit. That's, right. that's yeah. it. So you can answer, uh, to, tomorrow we will have to continue this action, right? Hmm? Tomorrow we will continue this session, right? Revision. uh so six. if we want tomorrow we can uh, keep that 6 to 8 session as it is and we will discuss uh, maybe this is the example i am talking about so it, this is an example on uh, which you are seeing on the screen this is an example on joint marginal conditional everything so this is like in words some context is being added and there are few questions which are on the context on the uh, contextual so we will not directly give you find this probability of x1 given one given something like that probability of x1 is equals to 1 given x2 is equals to 3 it will not be like this so this is kind of moderate to difficult english level of translation we have to do to your hmm? what english word? translation from english to this we have to ah write. this english to statistical terms you have to convert it and you have to solve this kind of problem so this will take some time and after this uh, we will discuss max min some function of a ra- to random variables and finally we will close with cumulative distribution function let's so if we can yeah, have this everything let's tomorrow let's we can have tomorrow if you want now we will do it now and we will remove the tomorrow session so we will completely remove the session completely to the session right better to go for tomorrow we can take week one doubts also tomorrow we can do that mock session because week one is tomorrow 6 to 8 we have math session also So please let's continue today only. Now the uh, yes. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow is tomorrow. The session 10. is from eight to eight 10. to ten. Ah, sorry, 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 my bad. It's from eight to ten. Okay, okay. That okay. would be okay, sir. That would tomorrow be perfect, sir. That would be. Better. So we can still continue okay. for this session if it, it is. You have a time. We, we can afford. Ah, okay. So there are. Okay, let's do one thing. Uh, I will try to let us solve this particular problem and we will close today's session by before okay. eight. Okay. okay so tomorrow okay, we will sir. we will deal with week 2 and as well as if time permits uh, i will bring some new examples into this picture and we will do okay, okay. for week 1 also so we have some doubts for week 1 as well ah week 1 and week 0 also we will deal as we have 2 hours today so we can deal all those things 
Sir, so tomorrow can we have uh, can we have few minutes for clearing our doubts also? So yeah, that is what I am. That is what I am talking about. Okay. So, so tomorrow, as we have two hours, first one hour we will deal week two, and the next one hour we will deal week one, week zero, and all the doubts. Okay. So, so tomorrow session. Okay. okay. So the thing Let's is. Let's continue with this, sir. Now. Yeah, he will continue today with this, and up to eight, I think, because a lot of people are having sessions from eight, right, Max? So, uh, Shrikant will continue tomorrow this discussion after uh, solving this question until eight, and he will continue with week two from eight, eight to nine, and then onwards he will discuss all the doubts. Okay. So I think that's it. Uh, I think Shrikant. So I'll yeah. drop off. Okay. 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 Thanks. 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 Yeah. And that is what I am talking about. So tomorrow we have two hours of uh, time. So in that two hours, first one hour we will deal, we will revise week two, and then we will go to week one, week zero doubts and all the clarifications of activity or whatever it may be. It will be open kind of thing. Okay. So we, this mock test is like something like GA only, na no, sir? Let it. Uh, see, it, uh, it it replaces GA. So if you haven't performed good enough. In graded assignments, ah uh, sir, or if you haven't attempted graded assignments, ah, uh, then uh, we will consider this particular mock as one of your graded assignments. Oh, if you have done good, मतलब if your graded assignment marks are good and if you have attempted enough number of graded assignments, hmm. then we will not consider this mock. So this is basically for our benefit, but uh, um, this is the procedure I'm little confused because maybe I earlier I did not attend. No, no. No, no, and also this mock, this particular bi-weekly mock is not a mandatory thing. So this particular mock will help you to uh, understand better, understand better, and solve uh, problems within the. So, so, yeah. so, so let me point you just say okay. now. Okay, uh, just, just, uh, just one second, okay. Let Move us do for, this problem and this let us do this problem, and then I will take some five ten minutes for clearing your doubts because many okay. people are waiting okay. and we are discussing. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Yeah. Fine. So this example I had in my previous year's live session. So that is how I at least saved this example, or else this would have also be gone. So this is an example. So what this particular uh, context is? There is a statistics course instructor, and he classifies his students according to their grades and their age group. And below is the table. Gives the proportion of students falling into that particular category. So now the table is given to us. If you see this 0.05 here, so the first entry 0.05 tells us that 5% of the total class who are getting S grade and of age below 20. So understood this right? So understand this. Each and every Entry is actually a proportion of students. So this particular point two here, point two denotes those students who got A grade and their age is between twenty to sixty. So this is the proportion. So if I say there are hundred students, that means there are twenty students who fall into this category. So this okay. is not probability. This is the number of students. That is a percentage. This is a fraction. Fraction. So even fraction works out to be probability, like kind of. Okay. So firstly, check whether this is this can be treated as a joint PMF or not. Then after that, what you have to do is these are the questions I have. So I will just minimize the screen a bit so that you can see the table as well as the questions. so this is the question so everyone understood the setup so what we have uh, what so, this yes. particular uh, yes. table referring to uh, now what i did is i have randomly selected a student so i am selecting a student randomly now one student i randomly selected now Because the questions are like this sir. sorry for bothering you this uh, hmm. fraction you said is a probability right you have to check whether it can work As probability or not? Okay, that's another other question, right? So it, uh, it's actually it works as probability. If you add all those things, you will get one. So fraction. When I say fraction, if I add all the fractions, I will get one. 
Okay, so which which means you can Correct. treat as a probability also. Okay, thank you. You can treat it as a probability also. Yeah. So now a student is randomly chosen. The first question is, what is the probability that he or she got an A grade? Uh, so answers 24. I will give you one minute. Okay, just just hold for one minute. Let others also solve the problem. So I will give you one minute. Depending upon the difficulty, we will I will give you two or three minutes to solve. Okay. Yeah, those who are done, just raise your hand. Solved. Yeah. So if you have solved it, please raise your hand. Okay, so you have taken each and every screenshot, is it, uh, Uday Baskar? Not each and every one, sir, but the most important, I can say. The uh, most important, is it? Okay. So my my mail is uh, venkateshan at the rate. I have got the degree. complete notes, sir, what you taught, uh, I have written. Okay. Now. So can uh, you enter your mail ID in chat box? Uh, so, uh, so if there are multiple people, I will. Uh, can someone of you create a discourse uh, post saying that notes of uh, today's revision session, and you can upload your notes as there. So collectively, good, I will sir. prepare one and I will put it in the portal. That will be good, sir. It's a public, yeah. Okay. So understood, right? Or uh, if you wanted to send me, sir, it's better to send the mail, sir. Okay, send me. It is like Venkatesan. C V E N K A T E S A N. Okay. V N. Just a second. I just put it in the chat box. Usually, I put H over there. Hmm. Incantation. I I put H over there. Just in the same. No, 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 no. And uh, I will. I'm just sending. So the discourse idea was also good, I guess. So that that in that way uh, that will be helpful for everyone. Yeah, so and know, also remain uh, not in public but uh, within the. Uh, ah, public. within the domain, yes. So, so those who are willing, I, I suggest you guys to put it there only. But anyway, I have given both ways. But my my preference would always be just put a discourse post. Someone start a discourse post. And say that this is the notes of this today's revision session, and in in uh, to adding those to replying those rep, uh, mail, you can add your notes also. So by this, those who haven't come to this session also might get a notes from you. And what I will do is I will collectively, or I will sit for today night again, and I will write it again. I have to if or I will take the I will take the screenshots from the YouTube directly. So wherever uh, I have written the completely, I will take this. At the rate online dot? Uh, that will be online degree dot IITM dot. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 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 Sir, so, uh, it's your mail address, sir. Huh? Uh, this is my mail. If you wanted to send notes to me, please send the notes. Yes, I will please send repeat, it. Please repeat it, sir. Uh, okay, I have given you two ways. First way is create a discourse post. And add your notes in the discourse post. Uh, you can add uh, add your notes. Someone, someone is mentioning that uh, he has created a discourse already on mock we, test. We have a discourse think, already created, is it? Yeah, he is mentioning in the chat box so, that he has created a can discourse. Can you repeat your mail address? Uh, I have given in the chat, right? Venkatation at the rate online degree dot iitm dot ac dot in. So I was trying to tag you, tag you on uh, discourse, and I didn't find you. Are you on discourse that is or not? Srikant one seven two nine at the rate Srikant one seven two nine. How can I find where this session is being? Okay, there's a link there. Okay, thanks, thanks, Venkatesh K. Iyengar. So he has already created a post. Is uh, it seems you can add your notes as there directly. Add your notes, whatever it may be. See. I don't think that uh, if someone sees your notes, they will point out mistakes or something. So you are helping few of your friends. That's it. 
uh, okay so think about that so what is the answer for this what is the probability that he or she got an a grade just come back and 0.4 Point. What we have to do? Point four. We have to marginal, 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 marginal. Okay. It's like the marginal probability. Correct. Marginal. All the entries of column A, sir. Yeah, all the entries of column A, and that will be marginal. So if I adding, if I add that, it will be point four zero. So this answer will be point four zero. So this is like a marginal probability we are asking. Now the second question is if the student selected. is from 20 to 60 age group so now we have given that if the student uh, whoever i selected is from the group 20 to 60 age group then find the probability that he or she got an s grade so point do this one. take some okay okay 0.1 5% uh, do try try doing this first of all convert this into our uh, statistical terms so mathematical it's a conditional probability correct it's a conditional probability but don't shout the answer if you are done please raise okay. your hands okay okay sir so those who haven't done they will try for 2 minutes if they did in then we will okay so those who are done please raise your hands sir Okay, so I can see only few people. Five, six, no. Oh no, one, two, three, nineteen people raised their hands. Okay, twenty-one. Okay. Okay, Karan. We will upload in the supplementary content also. As I mentioned, I will uh, prepare some notes again, or I will take the screenshots, or I will just collectively add the, some of your notes, and I will upload it in the supplementary content. So don't post your answers, okay? It's like just raise your hand once if you are done. Uh, sir. Huh. So, like, will you be like uh, uh, clarifying my doubts after this one question? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I will, I will clarify. Just remind me once at the end. Yes, sir. Just yes, sir. Ah, okay. So, most of you are raising your hands. I hope everyone got the correct answer. So, what is the answer now? Point one. Point, point one. Point one. Point one. So, everyone are saying zero point one. But how do we do this? So we have given. Ah, uh, so we have given this. So that means conditional. Conditional. So what we gave is pro we have to find is probability that the selected student. Ah, uh, maybe I say grades I refer with random variable x. Age I refer with y. So x is equal to s. Equal to s. Given. Given that y, y belongs to let's say zero one two. So these are the event. Oh, again, this is zero, one, two. So I want x is equal to zero given y is equal to one. So I'm just these are random variables, right? So random variable. When I say y is a random variable, I have to associate each of the event to a particular number. So this particular less than twenty, I have associated with zero, one, and two, like this. So s. Okay. So even if you don't do it, it's fine. But This is how it is. So I wanted this probability of x is equal to zero given y is equal to one, and this will be probability of x is equal to zero y is equal to one divided by probability of y is equal to one. So you have to compute the probability of y is equal to one, which is the marginal f y of one. So f y of one is the sum of these three. So if I add, I will get point four point five. 0.5 0.25 and probability that x is equal to 0 and at the same time y is equal to 1 is this entry so it is 0.05 so this is 0.1 okay so this is 0.1 so this is ha uh -huh. uh -huh. 
the next question i just solved it but i just want to ask i mean it's like any question to me but it's, uh, it's about adding the probabilities right i am not telling the answer uh so can we go along okay so once everyone answers this uh, solves this particular question we can discuss okay just just hold for one or yeah. two minutes. okay sir so the next question is i hope everyone understood this second question is also yes sir so this is so, point uh, so w- what would be the question if if answer is 0.05 it means if suppose the question is like that what what is the uh, probability that uh, somebody is co- age between 20 to 60 and got a s grade so, and got an s grade correct so in that case it it is answer is 0.05 answer is 0.05 so that is just the joint we are asking joint probability Okay. okay so this is marginal this is conditional now the question is what is the probability that so listen to the question what is the probability that he or she got s grade so the selected candidate got s grade or is from the less than 20 age group or both so just think what you have to do here so what is the probability that he or she got s grade or is from the less than 20 age group or both okay is it joint ah uh, it is joint but will it be only single probability or will it be multiple probabilities sir some okay. of multiple probability sir maybe three three sir Sir, it will be like intersection uh, from where three probabilities are yes less than 20 and both yeah. this or this the my it is this plus this plus this and we have to add this uh-huh. this right. Right. no no i think i think it will be a minimum we will discuss just try for one or two minutes whatever you understood about the lines you try doing it just compute the answer and let's check So, yeah, so is it the union so that the s grade and less than of 20 yeah yeah union or refers to union right always okay, okay. or means either this or that it's like okay, mm, so what is the probability that he or she got s grade or is from the less than 20 age group or both? I go try for one more minute yeah yeah whoever got again the same thing you can raise your hand So today you have a max revision session, is it? Weeks one and two. No sir. No sir. No. Sir. No. So you are talking about some max class. There's no class session. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow only we have max session six to eight. Oh. Okay. We had Python sir from five, but uh, it was. Like, okay. Okay. Five to seven, we had. No, but it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, what is the answer you got? One by one. Point four two. Point four two. Point four two. And any other answer? Point three seven. Point five six. Sir, point five two. I got. Point three seven. Point five two. I too got. Yes, sir. Point five two. Point four six. Point five six. Point six six. Point four six, sir. Let me go. 0.37. 0.47. 0.37. I have written it down. 0.47. Okay. Anything apart from these seven possible values? 0.61. 0.61. After listening to this, I'm trying to find my probability of being right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See. See. Uh, there are uh, 60 around in this session. Actually, point four two is correct, sir. Yeah, sixty-five people are there in this session. I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight different answers. Okay, so think about there are two uh, thousand some change students in stats two right now. Yeah. If this particular question would have gone in quiz directly, 
you have seen this particular question in the quiz and the same question what is the probability that your answer will be correct or uh, how many chances or how many different values will we get one by three <laughs> <laughs> at least i can i can i can i can give a lower bound that one by 2000 So even though everyone gave different different answers, uh, so one by two thousand is your probability. Okay. Anyway, uh, let us solve here. So what we ask you is, what is the probability that the selected guy, the selected uh, he or she, got S grade? So if he got S grade also, he comes into this particular uh, case. Or, okay, he he didn't got S grade. but he is from the group less than 20 age group then also he will come into this particular case or both so if if he got s grade he or she got s grade as well as he is from less than 20 age group also it's fine so how much of fraction is this three events okay you, if you consider these as three events so what are the fractions of each of the following events So he or she got S grade. So what fraction is this? It is zero point one one. Zero point zero point one one. Zero point zero point zero point one one. So you add these three. Point one. So if you add these three, we will get zero point one one. Okay. Three six point zero one. Ah, this is point one one is of getting S grade. Yes, sir. Yes. Less than 20 is 0.36. Is less than 20. 0.36. Point three six. Zero point three. So I have taken this case. I have already considered this case, this case, and this case. Correct. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah. Now less than 20 is of again adding row entries. Adding this row one. Is. This one and this one. Minus the point zero point five. This zero point zero five is being added twice. Twice. Mm. Observe. Okay. Yes, sir. Correct. This and case already. And again, when already... coming both again, we add the same thing. Okay, sir. Ah, you shouldn't add. See, both is also this thing only. Yeah, yeah, that's so what we have to do. Then subtract the two times, sir. Uh, one time only. One, one time. Okay. So you while you are doing on the column basis, while you are computing this S grade. you have uh, taken this particular case into the consideration while you are going in, along this row age group row less than 20 you are if you consider this case again this case will be like twice you are computing it twice so you have to subtract it once so not and even one is right among them sir not even one no sir we have to subtract twice sir Once only, right? Once, one, no. one we have to count it once at least. Now both is also there, right? Okay. Both is also one point zero five. So what? If you point one, so I started point one one point zero five point three six. I even I got four two. So I don't know. No, 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 no. Subtract. See what? What is this? Is these five events you have to add? That's it. These are the only five possible. Okay. Fractions. So among this, so this fraction is basically sir, less than. Sir, the moment you consider about both, uh, sir, there is one category that both. See, we both belongs to zero point zero five. Right? Probability and what is this S grade or so? How do you do the union? You know. So prel. A plus B minus C. Yes, sir. Okay, A union B union C is basically. So in that is point four two, sir. And if we do it, you are the no no no. A A B. Okay, ah. just tell me if in your A there are some one two, two three, and three. So what is the union of these three? One two three. One two three. One two three. three. Just one two three. Without yes, repetition. Ah, uh, so what yes, you did is what you some of you did is you have did this. We have added so many times. Ah, yes, uh, yeah. See, yes. duplicates doesn't matter. So <laughs> considering once. Is sufficient that case will come inside. So A union B union C. So I just I just realized I miscalculated, but I got the right answer. Wow. So 
So oh. we will calculate once. I actually got only one pi two. But I miscalculated. I got the right answer. Sir, is it zero point four two, sir? So the correct answer 3 is three two. It will be no. So the answer will be zero point zero one plus zero point zero five plus zero point zero five plus zero point one five plus zero point one six. Okay, sir. Plus zero point zero five plus zero point zero point four two. I actually calculated my answer wrong, but I got the right answer. So this will be point four two, is it? Yeah, uh, yes. Zero point one one plus zero point three one. So the answer will be zero point four two. Zero point four two. Yes. Sir. So you have to look for the cases. This particular thing is actually the union of some of the joint probabilities. Correct. So I have added this line. So can we do it from uh, formula of unions? You Let A union, B union, C. No, you sir, can A do union right. B will be enough, now. So we have added uh, probability of A union ah. B equal to probability ah, of see, A this, plus probability see, of minus C, probability of A intersection. This C is actually A uh, A intersection B. Okay. This you will get A union B ultimately. Okay. You can do from here also. But make sure you are not adding events twice, twice or thrice. Okay. So we have probability of probability space for you know, sir. We that in in stat one. Uh -huh, probability uh -huh, of A uh -huh. union B is equal to probability yeah, of correct. A plus probability of A minus probability of A intersection. Probability of A intersection B. Yeah. So that is what we have we subtracted it. Correct. So let uh, let's do this then. So the same thing, but here. What is the probability that he or she is neither uh, they got B grade nor they grow nor they are from greater than sixty age group? Okay, the table is there. It is one minus. Uh, ah, just is compute, one. no? Just compute. Okay. Uh, Can you show the question, sir? One yeah, second. Yes. Okay. Let me. Some more. The question is, what is the probability that he or she is, uh, he or she neither got B grade nor is from the greater than 60 age group? What is the probability? So I have selected one student. He shouldn't be, he shouldn't be getting B grade. Nor he shouldn't be from the age group. Uh, if you are done, please raise your hands. That's all. So just like we did the question three, here also it will be more or less same, but this is a complement kind of event. So this is a hint I can give you for those who haven't done yet. You know it doesn't make much difference. Sir. There are not many values to add. Hmm? Yeah, even though like it's it's complimented, good. there are no much values to add here to get the answer. Uh -huh. Okay, done. Uh, those are, anyone are trying still? Oh yes, sir. Uh, trying is it? D done, sir. Done. 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 Okay. Done. So now tell me what will be the answer. Point four five. Point four five. 
Any other answers? Point six three. Point six three. And except for uh, apart from these two, point four five and point six three. No. So one person has to point three six. So point three six. Okay. So I'm locking the options then. So only three options I got now. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So now let us check which one is correct. So what this particular statement says. So the probability that uh, the uh, the person who is selected he shouldn't get B grade, B not grade, nor is from greater than sixty age group. You can do it. In two different ways, this particular problem you can do it in two different ways. One way is you just find what all the remaining events are there apart from this, or you can do you can compute the probability of the person getting B grade or is from group greater than sixty, and you subtract it from one. So both the ways you will get unique answer. You won't get three answers. Okay. That will so be point four five. Ah, that will be point four five. Is your uh, uh, that is what you are saying, right? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay. Let us see. Let us see. Mostly, the confidence from your mouth, I can guess that the answer should be point four five. Okay. So the condition is, ah, uh, he shouldn't get B grade. That means he shouldn't be here. And also, you shouldn't be greater than sixty. So the remaining fraction is this four. Okay. So if you add all these four, you are going to get point four five. Or if you don't want to do that, so what you have to do, what you can do is one minus probability that. X is being B union C. Uh, okay, uh, getting B grade. Probability that they're getting B grade. Greater than sixty. Union, greater, greater than, than sixty, 60. age group. Okay, you can do this also. So you will get one minus of uh, some five values to be removed. So these particular fractions are getting B grades. So point one six, point two five, point zero eight, point zero zero five. Okay, point zero eight. So these three belongs to. The fraction who got B grade, and this fraction is 0.01, 0.05, and 0.08 is the fraction who are greater than 60 age group. So you add all those. So union is like you add all those, subtract the intersection part. You will get something like uh, 0.55, <laughs> and even from here also you will get 0.45. 0.45. That is answer. So what we have asked you, we can ask you marginals, conditionals, union of joints, one minus union of joints. Okay, this is this is something like some sum of joint probabilities. Correct, and this is something like one minus sum of joint probabilities. so within this one question we can ask joint or marginal or conditional but reading the statement you have to identify which what we are asking so if you can deduce that computing part is very simple just you have to add some values or divide some values like this comprehension of english and probability or just thing is that difficult sir hmm Comprehension of a problem from English to mathematics is a problem. Yeah, that is the problem, and you have to more focus on that part only. So, how to convert I? Uh, how to convert this text or the English text into my probable into my mathematical expressions? So, you have to work hard in this section, and the calculation section it is more or less very same in every problem. So, the calculation will be the same calculations. 
So if it is but, marginal, you will add. If it is conditional, you will divide. If it is sum of joints, you will just add again like this. Do we have some questions or practice uh, sections, sir? Practice questions. Yeah, yeah. Practice assignments you have, graded assignments you have. Anyway, you are going to see mock paper tomorrow. Even in mock, also you will see these kind of problems. Okay. Great. Like this. So finally, I will end with one question. Is this particular joint PMF consider this as a joint PMF table? Are grades independent of age groups? Answer is no, sir. Okay, answer I don't want. If you are done, please raise your hand. Uh, just for a minute, we will. I will just tell the answer. So my question is. Are grades independent of age group? So can you repeat the question, please? So the question is: Are grades independent of age, or simply, if I wanted to uh, talk it in the mathematical terms, consider this as a joint PMF, and take it as one one side you take it as a random variable x, and other side you take the, it as a random variable y. R X and Y independent is my question. Hmm. They are not independent. Okay. Okay, everyone, going to agree with uh, Bala Subramanian. Bala Subramanian. Shiva. Okay. Yes, please sir. Please, please take one or one. Those who are trying, please try. They're not independent. Okay. Okay. They're not correct. independent. Correct. Correct. So they are not independent, but those who are trying, you can try. And we will close this session today. And tomorrow, what we do is we will start with uh, dealing. Functions of a random variables, so it's like x plus y. If it may be x plus y, or it may be x plus x, max of x, max of x plus something. These kind of problems we will see. More, we, our more focus will be on max, min, and some yeah, of the random. What time, sir? Yeah, what yeah, time? IID is also pending, right? Uh, yes. IID also we have to. First three points we have covered, sir, today. Yeah, yeah. So, what time? Whatever... Uh, one more. Hmm? Sir, one more request. Uh, if you can please explain hypergeometric also. Hypergeometric, okay. Uh, hypergeometric. What I suggest is, we are not going Sir, to use can... this hypergeometric in future. If you wanted to learn, if there is time, we will definitely discuss hypergeometry. Okay. Okay. Sir, if okay. it is not going to be asked in questions also, then we need not discuss it also. Sir. Ah, I'm I'm talking about the same thing. Hypergeometric. It's in the additional content. We put it in the additional content, right? So one can even refer stats one for that. Ah, even you can refer for stats one. If you have some confusion, we can discuss. Always, I am open to discussions. Okay, I am pretty much open with to some good. Sir, discussion. after this session, uh, please upload the this remaining PDF, sir, and uh, graded assignment two solutions. Yeah, yeah. See, this remaining PDF is means you are uh, talking about this example, right? Before yeah. this, I, I I completely lost. Uh, no problem, sir. Okay, I will I will upload. I will attach this to new new PDF, and I will attach. It will take some time. I will work it out today, and I will get it uploaded by tomorrow morning or before noon. And sir, one last thing. Uh, you have to push the date till Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that I remember. That we can push tomorrow evening also. No worries. Even till tomorrow evening or tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Also, if it, if the deadline is tomorrow, don't worry. Do not worry. We can change within minute or two. We will change it. Uh, sir, one yeah. question. So we will have tomorrow session from 8 p.m. Right? Yeah, tomorrow session is from 8 p.m. So on Google Meet or uh, Zoom? The same, same. Already session was scheduled. Okay. Okay. So you join that sure. session. But, so in the first uh, half we will discuss this part and then we will con in the in tomorrow session for the first half we will discuss uh, the continuation and then we will continue with week three. Is that what is the plan? No, we won't continue week three. Week three we will schedule again. Okay. 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 Thank you.
okay week 3 will not be tomorrow mock multiple times yeah yeah you can submit mock uh, multiple times it's like it's just like a graded assignment okay. so before the deadline the last submission we will take into into the consideration sir mm-hmm. one last suggestion uh, i would like to ask you sir mm-hmm. sir in meeting since these are online meetings so mm-hmm. some of us do not have some good mics or good earphones sir could mm-hmm. you suggest one what type of mics or headphones or earphones do you use see so that i particularly right now i am using usually i use my jbl earphones no sir are these wireless or wired earphones and do you have i mic use wired front of I, your... I, I suggest i no 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 i suggest wired earphones i have used wireless pods ear dopes i have used ear dopes but it was like you know what happens when i talk more than that voice uh, those who are in the other room if they shout the people are hearing that thing so ear dopes actually uh, so the mic of ear dopes will be very very what we say sensitive, sensitive. more sensitive so even yeah, though you because have of it being bluetooth and all yeah, yeah. yeah. So so even, what type of equipment are you using right now since the voice is, your voice is the most clear i have heard in today's meet Uh, is it like that any of us do not have such a good quality mics and all that no no no, no. right now i am using samsung earphone you are not using earphones yeah samsung earphone that is what i am suggesting either use earphone or you can buy some mics or i don't suggest mics and everything yes, what yes, will you sir. do after this completion of this course you will not use it again if you are a youtuber we can become youtube and uh, uh-huh. <laughs> If you are a YouTuber, that is what I am going to tell. If you are a YouTuber, then definitely you can buy for you. Sir, these are your wireless earphones. Wired, wired, wired. These are not wired. Wired. Okay. Yeah. So that is what I am telling. I suggest wired earphones only for this kind of uh, meets. It depends. If you go for something slight, if you have like uh, Jabra or something like that on the. ஒரு 